Oh, what the fucking shit ball? Oh, there we go. Hey, everybody. You're recording? <laughs> Let me just put my dick away. Uh, hey. Well, Woo. this is two cents of you of uh, The Walking Dead, season three, episode 14. And there will be spoilers, as always, because we can't talk about this shit properly without spoiling the fuck out of it. So deal with it. Deal with it, <laughs> bitches. <laughs> but this um, was the... Was this the, um, how many more episodes is there now? Two. Two more episodes. So we've got two more sh- good shows out, <laughs> to, out of it. I think we're going to have to do, like, season, uh, like, episode, episode 30 for us of, of this volume will be uh, the second to last episode. And I think uh, the beginning of the, f- uh, the volume three for us will have to be all of us, just, like, the overall of The Walking Dead altogether. Yeah, well, we could just do a separate thing, to be fair. Yeah, we could. We yeah, maybe we could do that for YouTube. So yeah, we we'll do it for but, uh, YouTube and the blog. So well, well anyway, we'll discuss that. Yeah, well, that, 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 that'll, that'll come on. But um, this episode pissed me off. Really? Didn't like it. You didn't like, like it. Following from my one of my favorite episodes, uh, uh, which was last week. Uh, you know, the governor and Rick face off. Yeah. I thought this was a very poor follow up. Yeah, I must admit this is a this is one of the weakest episodes of this season. I it could be because I fucking hate Andrea. Oh, she's such a fucking bitch. <laughs> she's so fucking annoying. Like she's just I don't like the actress. I don't like the way she plays her. I think she's stupid. She's like, like oh look at me go. Yeah. I can defend people with my little gun and knife and shit. And now I'm really hard and. Like, the only good bits about this episode, which, it was still a good episode of TV, mainly for t- all of Tyrese's bits. Yeah. And uh, see- seeing how fucked uh, the governor has really got. Um, I, I, but, sorry, I, angry, man. I'll, I'll let you uh, carry on, man. I'll just... No, 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 sorry, man, I, I'm, I'm taking it. I, I'm I think, taking it um, I think, you know what I was saying about how it'll be interesting to see where they take the story? Yeah. Last episode... And the episode before, where they focused on Michonne and Morgan, that was oh, great. Yeah. The last episode where like, it got you pumped up for the big fight that's inevitably going to happen. Yeah. Whereas I feel this episode just kind of was just a filler. Do you know what this felt like to me? This felt like a side story they turned into a full episode. Yeah, it was just a filler just to say... Like, this shit with Andrea could have been happening in the background with the main emphasis on Tyrese... Instead yeah. of the opposite way around. Because I want to know about Tyrese. I want to know all about him. I want to know about his background story. All that shit. And they're not giving it to us. No, absolutely not. Which it's fair enough. They don't want to give it to us. That's fine. But, like, this it's whole episode, every... Too I was, Andrea like, focused. Almost, too Andrea focused. I was focused. almost skipping over the scenes of Andrea at one point. I was just sort of like, where's Tyrese bit again? Where's Tyrese bit yeah. again? Uh, I, but, like, I think she... It just got a bit silly that her and the governor were playing this little cat and mouse game, and oh, like oh, the annoying. bit that I almost screamed at. It's about yeah, it's like eight minutes into the episode. Um, Andrea's talking to uh, what's his name? The uh, the geek guy who's like a scientist. Milton. In, uh, Milton. Talking to Milton, I, who I'm starting to really like Milton. But yes, he's uh, talking, talking about a pair of balls. <laughs> about how like the governor's made a torture chamber pretty much for Michonne. Yeah. Well, that's not who I'm assuming it's for. Yeah. Um, and you know Milton's obviously fucking worried, so they're talking about killing the governor, as they fucking should be. Yeah. And then like she, the governor sits down. Andrea has a clear shot to take him out, and yeah. Milton's just like, oh no no no, you can't do it here. I'm like. Who cares? Yes. <laughs> like, shoot that guy and leave. Shoot that guy. You have enough... Like, it, it seems like they have forgotten that Andrea's pretty much the second in command now. Yeah. Like, the people trust her. The people really yeah. like Andrea for some fucked up reason. <laughs> yeah, like, that's the, thing that, that's the thing that gets me the most. It's like... Like, in this episode, like, where, uh... uh uh, that, that you know they take Andrea's gun, and yeah. she just hands it over. You know, um, I'm just sort of like you are pretty much second in command. Basically, tell him to go fuck himself and go talk to the governor. Like, yeah. what's he gonna do? Shoot on the street for your gun? You ah, oh, it was just like 
you have a lot of clout around here, and see, the writer almost seems to have forgotten that she has it. Yeah, the people really <laughs> respect Andrea for some. Huh? Like the people really like and respect Andrea, which I don't yeah. understand myself, but. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Well, it's because she's so like she is keeping her humanity in this inhumane world. Yeah. But um, the scene with a uh, like the, a scene I actually really did like was uh, Tyrese and is it his girlfriend? I don't his know. Wife, they clearly, sister. They clearly, I still can't work it out. They clearly fucked. I think. Yeah, I'm gonna, I, I, I would say girlfriend. That's yeah. who I would say. But um, I love that they show that not everyone can get headshots. Yes. Like, he took, what, was it four rounds before he took that walk route with that silent sniper rifle, which I'm pretty sure these guys should be using a lot more. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they have a suppression silent fucking, you know, sniper, and I've, this is the first time we've seen it. <laughs> it's accurate, it's quiet. Like, what the fuck? I mean, Why is this the first time we've seen it? It's fucking almost as valuable as a crossbow, if not yeah. more. It's probably more, like, I know it's bolt action, but it's still, like, it's a silent rifle. Yeah. Like, uh, why is this just being shown? <laughs> but, Andrea leaving, like, I was, I was, like, so, I, I know she has to leave to go to warn Rick. Yeah, of course. Uh, but this is stupid. Like, Andrea, seriously, nick a fucking car. Yeah, you know, and take some fucking guns with you. Seriously, you can't. Go through walker-infested territory with a pen knife. It was yeah, it was a flip knife, yeah. like three-inch blade. Like you're a crazy fucking bitch. Like what do you think? Like I know you got to warn your friends and everything. They're, you're no good to them, fucking dead. Exactly, exactly. And maybe you could take some weapons in the boot of a car and give them to Rick. Well, you you know you know where the weapon supply is. Um, like they're clearly too busy collecting weapons at this point. Grab a fucking handgun. Or yeah, at exactly. this point, when you know where she's conf she's confronting uh, Tyrese and I don't know the other girl's name, um, oh, I about about you know about leaving, fucking go give me a gun, give me a machine gun, yes. say I overpowered you, shit like that. You know, like they're not gonna shoot her in the. Oh, I don't know. It was just like you're stupid to try and run to the prison, which from the from the episode looks like it's like three or four hours run. It's like, three or it four. What? Sorry, I I just lost you there, man. Oh, am I back? Yeah, yeah. What did you say? It's three or four. What, sir? It must be like a three or four hour walk to run to the prison. Like it's oh, it's a long way. way. It's a long way. Like, and she, her plan is to run there. Yeah. With a night. Of course, she's gonna die. When it's about to get dark. I know. I was just like, ah, oh, like you stupid, stupid bitch. Yeah, uh, I, I just never, I've never liked her, and I've never liked her character. She's always back to the wrong horse, and then as soon as she has, as soon as she finally seems to be doing something useful, such as uh, this being this buffer zone between Rick and the governor, she just throws it to one side. Yep. I'm just like, ah, oh, for God's sake. It's, I don't know, man, like, she almost shot Daryl at one point. In the... She was killed, Daryl. She was shot him in the head. If she had shot him in the head... I would have jumped into the TV screen and strangled that bitch. <laughs> exactly, man. Like, that is not oh, I almost said she could have just sent a raven then, but that was uh, Game of Thrones. <laughs> Don't have the luxury of ravens. <laughs> <laughs> the Walking Dead. Yeah. But I know no, you're right. Like, if, she, if she hadn't seen Red and, and had kind of taken her time, you know, maybe used a bit more of her power in Woodbury, yeah, like, she could have been be... a better... She could have defended Rick's group in a better way like lie i'm going on a run i i need supplies the governor said it's okay like lie you are leaving yes the, the consequences don't matter you're gonna get shot is the worst consequence like and they're not gonna shoot you Those, the, the, the tyrese and his girlfriend or whoever she is yeah weren't ever gonna put a bullet in her head of course not. And I, I, I quite like this like a weird dynamic with Tyrese's group. Like, see, as I said, the most interesting part about this episode is Tyrese. Oh yeah, definitely. And this, like, this weird, uh, like, it's him and his girlfriend with, uh, this like, uh, you know, a guy and his son. Yeah. Uh, and they clearly had a lot of fights in the past. They're clearly a split group. Yeah, definitely. Um, especially since Tyrese can clearly kick the shit out of that guy. <laughs> 
Yeah, he's a fucking badass guy. Tyrese's got temper on him, and I like that they've made it so he's got temper. But he's he is when he's calm, he's a very reasonable guy. Oh, like the bit where they go to the Walker pen. Yeah. You know, and he's just like, "Fuck this! I ain't helping. Like this is sick. Like yeah. shooting someone. Like I I understand where he's coming from. A lot of people are like, whoa, he's gonna kill them anyway. What's the difference? It's like it's that's like." Slowly suffocating to someone to death with your bare hands and just putting a bullet into their head from a hundred yards, like there is a difference. Oh, absolutely, dude. There, of course, there is. You know, like he he's willing to defend the camp. He's not willing to send a bunch of walkers into you know, a, a place full of women and children that he has met. How briefly it may have been, still, yeah. you know, it, it's still they're still people. Of course, man. Of course. And I, I fucking hated how he fell for uh, the governor's lie. You know, like, oh, we're just using the show. I'm like, of course they fucking. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, like it. Uh, they had that scene, obviously, of Andrew getting chased by the truck across the field. Yeah. Yeah. No idea how she outran a fucking truck, but. <laughs> oh, um, that whole thing was just annoying. And then that weird bit with the warehouse. Like, how does he know that she's in that warehouse? Yeah. Like, she didn't. He didn't see her go in. She could have gone to any one of those warehouses. Uh, that whole scene was just... Uh, the whole... What, it was like a 20-minute scene. It was boring to me. Yeah, I think it just got... I, like I said before, I think it's just a filler episode. Yeah, it seems like a story that wasn't fleshed out good enough. Or they really want to give Andrea more sympathetic character. Which, to me, is getting worse. Yeah, like, exactly. The more, more and more I see of her, the more and more I don't like her. Because she's just making stupid fucking decisions. Yeah, it, it you drives. Never see me a, try a car on the roadside or look for more weapons. Like there was a seat, you know, she's running down the road and there's like five or six cars on the roadside. Try them. You never know. Yeah, I mean, like, they, yes, they probably have been siphoned, but it's worth a shot. This is this just. I I just. It just got annoying, man. Like you say, it just got frustrating. Some the of the decisions she made. That, the best part of this episode with Andrea was where she opened the door and let the walkers attack the governor. That was very clever. That, that was, was very clever. clever. And I was kind of expecting her to take to see that scene where she's leaning against the door and the governor's got her. I thought she was going to open the door and let the biters get her. Yeah, I thought, I thought that genuinely was a suicide. Uh, Kind yeah, of... I, I thought she was going what? to do this thing right. where she, yeah, like, was killing herself or maybe trying to sacrifice herself to get the governor. Yeah. But it was very clever what she did. Hid behind the door, the governor was obviously going to click, was going to uh, attract the most attention. Uh, I had no idea how the governor survived. I know he's supposed to be a badass, but there was a good 20 walkers. I mean, come on. I mean, we worked out that three or four, a group of three or four walkers in the same room as you is a problem. A big yeah, problem. Especially... Especially in the room he's in. I'm sorry, I'm just watching the scene right now uh, on the screen. I'm watching the scene. That room, he backs himself into a corner where he has no space to swing anything. Like, and his gun runs out pretty sharpish. Like, what, he had a handgun with maybe 10 rounds in? Yeah. And he, hand after the gun runs out of bullets, there's still a good shit. Like, there's still a good 10 to 15 walkers. But, you know, he's just a badass. Let, you know, I let him off. But... That was the most. I think that's the most intelligent thing I've seen her done. Like. Yeah, out of everything she's ever done, that was probably the most clever. Oh, by the way, who who do you think burnt the walkers? I, I'll be interested to hear your opinions because I've heard so ah, many. Ah, yes, I. You just reminded me that that actually happened. Who do you think it is? Because I think I've got I've got an idea, and there's hundreds of theories flying around the internet because I read a lot of blogs and stuff. But who do you think it is? My first inkling was Milton. Milton, yeah. But I think. I don't want to look too much into it, but I think that was a bit too obvious. Okay. He's the obvious choice. I don't think it was Tyrese. But uh, there's... Uh, I don't know if uh, they just haven't decided who did it. I'm assuming they have. Uh, but in the scene, um, you see that the person who does it, who's doing it is white. Yeah, and uh, so I, uh, didn't, I didn't think it was uh, Tyrese also because he wasn't big enough. No, I, I thought it was Milton. A lot of people were saying it might have been the son of the guy. 
who was fighting. Ah, no, that's that, not a bad idea. That's, that's really out of left field, point. I thought. That's not a bad point. Uh, another one is also the girlfriend of Tyrese. Potentially. And the light is just good. Potentially, I can see that. No, there's a lot of good... I, I, my personal thing is, is Milton. Yeah, I think Milton... Well, because Milton knew. He said he knew, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. But I, I just love, I just love when, uh, like the governor turns around and just goes to Tyrese, "Where do you get the gasoline from?" Yeah. And he's just like, "What?" It's like, it's like, "Oh, uh, don't worry about it." It's like, yeah. "Oh." You just test. I, 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 I remember. Yeah, just, just test. Like it's, it's like, like, and he, he, th- he, th- he clearly thinks it's Tyrese and stuff like that. So. I, I don't think it was Tyrese at all. I don't think Tyrese would be stupid enough. Um. Uh, also, the point is, where would he get the gasoline from? Of course, yeah. He, he wouldn't know. And it's <clears throat> Woodbury's a sensible place. There'll be people watching that. Yeah, Milton makes the most sense because he would have the clout to get out to get there and repair stuff, for example. He would have access to gasoline. You know? So, I don't know. There, you know there's it's a lot of pointing things towards Milton. Okay, here's, a, here's an interesting point then, man. Um... What do you think is going to happen in the next two episodes? Oh, I, I think Andrea is going to be tortured and killed. Really? Yeah, I think I think they're going to use Andrea as a way of showing how fucking crazy the governor is. True, and also they haven't lost a main character in, in a, a long little... time. Yeah, not. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I think I think you might be right there, dude. Uh, any other major plot points you think might happen? Uh, well, it's going to be obviously a massive fight. Um, oh, of course. I reckon Milton's going to go to the prison and warn them. Yeah, that's easily put. He's starting to grow a pair of balls now. Yeah, he, well, he doesn't like who the governor's becoming. Um, uh, I reckon he, but I reckon he burned the walkers, and he's going to go talk to Rick in the prison. And I reckon Andrew is going to be tortured and killed to prove how barbaric the governor's become, and make it oh so sweeter when someone kills him. Yes. Like, Andrea's dead. I'm sorry, she is really dead. Do you think the governor will die in this series? I reckon... I reckon he might, or Woodbury will be burnt to the ground. Yeah. I'm going to reckon something like that. Like, either the governor's going to die, or a lot... Like, Woodbury's going to get disintegrated, and you see the governor fleeing because he's on his own, or something like that. But I think the only way to resolve this season happily, because they still got what they still got like fourteen Walking Dead graphic novels they need to get to. You know, I don't, I, don't I reckon, know how many seasons this is going to run to, but yeah, I, I reckon um, we're going to see the governor maybe leave because Woodbury's falling apart, or or we are going to see the governor die. Yeah, uh, I reckon also. I reckon more main characters are going to die. I, I'm, I would probably say. Um, who am I thinking? I was thinking Mil- I think Andrew's going to die. I think the governor's going to die. I'm also thinking someone like um, uh, Merrill's going to die. Yeah. Because uh, I think he's going to do something foolish and the governor takes him out or something like along those lines. You know, I reckon they're going to kill at least uh, at least uh, three main characters. To be honest, I reckon it's going to be Andrew, the governor, and then maybe one more in Rick's group. I have a feeling that Merrill uh, might actually. Do something not suicidal, but charge in and provide some cover and get killed in the process. But what he does is actually quite honourable. I reckon he's going to go in and t- like save Daryl or something like that. Yeah, and, and end up and, dying in the process. Yeah, uh, getting yeah getting shot and then like I could see a scenario where Daryl goes in with Rick to try and take out the governor. Yeah, uh, the governor has them pinned and. Merle goes in to try and help and save them. Uh, Merle gets killed by the governor and Daryl takes out the governor. I can see something like that because I know Daryl is a fan favorite, uh, obviously. But uh, yes, I don't know who's going to kill the governor. It's, I think it's going to be Rick. I hope it's not in a way. So do I. That's my thing. It'd be, it, it's so obviously supposed to be Rick. But I, I would really love to see Carl kill him. That's like, not a bad little shout. That would be a really good way of securing that Carl's grown up and he's become a badass. I would like to see 
the governor the governor and rick are obviously going to have an epic fight i mean it's pretty much predetermined that that's going to happen definitely but i would really like to see them have an epic fight and then some walkers get involved and then they have to team up yeah they have to that would that would be really cool to watch them team up against the walkers and then and then go back kind of look at each other as if they're almost like almost gonna make terms almost if you know what i mean like make a deal yeah and then like carl or someone or carol or someone that's not obvious like just puts a bullet in his head takes him out yeah like i I would like to see a random bullet take him out or um someone you don't expect on rick's group to take him out or even someone like martinez taking him out or 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 like um even like a not a Oh fuck! Like, Milton take him out, like someone you yeah. don't expect. That would really make it interesting because that would really show within the TV universe, within the Walking Dead universe. Yeah, and also they're, still, I, they're I, not gods. I've just got to the uh, point in the comic books now where um, Milton actually helps Rick and Glenn and the Doctor escape Woodbury, hmm. and it was quite interesting to see how the, how different. Not Milton, sorry, Martinez. Yeah, Martinez. Martinez, um, and how different his character is in the comic book. So, he, and you know, he kind of had that interaction with Daryl. So, you know, who knows? That could yeah. be something that happens. Well, we'll see. But I, uh, so uh, your overall thing was kind of same in mine. Sort of like this was pretty, sh- pretty shit episode. I wouldn't say shit. It's still good. It's still a good episode within uh, the context. Dead. Like it's still oh. a very good episode of TV, but compared to all the others in this season. I felt like it was definitely the weakest. I think it was average. Okay. Um, and I like I said before, my main point was I, I think it was just a filler episode. It just like, you know, we've got a set amount of episodes. We kind of don't want to, you know, provide too low, low too quickly. Yeah, here's, uh, and the reason I don't, I honestly don't, you know, t- talking about Tyrese, do you, you know what? You know what they're like with black characters on this TV show, man? Oh, as soon as they start getting interested in them, they're just going to get fucking shit beaten out of them. I would love to see Tyrese stay for a lot longer. Like, a really long time. I really hope he does, because I like, I like him a lot. I like his character. But you know what they're like? T-Dog. Yeah. The prison. They don't have the best history. I reckon it's more like they, they seem to only want to have one black character on it. Yeah, I know. It's, it is messed up. And it's not us. It's not us like singling out. There's lots of people that say that, and it is a recurring theme. Yeah. But anyway, uh, we'll, we'll, I think we'll uh, leave that there. Take a quick break right there. Yes. If you're on uh, YouTube, please like and subscribe, and click on the two uh, buttons at the top for all our zombie stuff. Yeah, check it out. We'll be right back, people. We shall.